Hello and welcome to the ESS intro. ESS stands for Emacs Speak Statistics, a particular statistics mode for the Emacs editor. Emacs can be a little intimidating, so a few of us thought we'd put together a couple of quick slides and videos to ease the fear and show why we like working with Emacs and R and many other things. I've taken the task here to um, just do a brief overview of Emacs itself, and that of course is an impossible task. The editor is 40 years old, has been used by tens of thousands of people, and there are numerous introductions out there, book lengths and whatever, so I can't possibly do this justice in the space of five minutes. The task is hard, so the perception of Emacs really is that it's overly complicated. There are numerous jokes on the web of large pipe organs such as this one because there are too many commands, too many functions, so people feel intimidated. Don't. While there's decades of history, millions of tutorials, opinionated views, people liking it, hating it, loving it, um, it's the wrong angle for it. Just don't be afraid, fear not. One can work really well incrementally with it, so learn just one thing and enjoy that one thing, and that may be ESS. Learn a few things, master them, and then learn some more. Historically, for me, for example, the, the hook a long time ago as a grad student was the LaTeX mode, when we really had nothing, uh, nothing equivalent, and ESS came along with it. But now I lose, use it um, for a lot of things, as I'll be um, stating in a second. Now, where does one start with Emacs? It's hard again because there are so many tutorials but one that I found quite helpful is actually baked in. There's a tutorial function in Emacs because the editor is extensible one can build many things in it so someone actually I think the core team built a tutorial in there you just hit control H and T in Emacs lingo that's written as C hyphen H saying control and H simultaneously space meaning now you let go of the keyboard and type something new and then T. So control H T is different from control H control T, which would be holding control with H and T. Here it's just control H and then T. It covers a lot of the basis of how the editor involves around tasks, how one moves, windows, frames, all the last, um, all the, the, the whole lot of it, and it's worth spending some time with it. Um, and Going back to it, because there's too much to be grokked uh, on an initial uh, visit. <clears throat> so why do I really like Emacs so much? Well, one key aspect is that the editor, being extensible, applies itself to just about any text format. So what you may find useful for R applies by the same uh, form to C or C++, Python, SQL, LaTeX, Markdown, HTML, shell scripts, any form of text. And that's really, really powerful. A couple of things that I like, and again, these are sort of um, semi-randomly picked because we can't do full justice to all of Emacs, is um, with control and space, you mark the begin of a region then you navigate to the end, how one navigates within text, the tutorial I mentioned shows, and on the mark text then invokes the function, and that's m hyphen x, means alt and x, comment region. And that will comment out the region of the text marked. And here's the beauty of it. This works for any type of text format. I can show you how this works in C code, Python code, R code, HTML code because it carries over. And that's really, really useful because you almost no longer have to remember how do I comment out in this or that language because Emacs will do that for you. And of course you can do the reverse. That is also a regular pattern. You prefix a particular function with uh, an undo prefix. That's typically control um, and U. So if you do control U, then alt x common e region on a mark region, it will uncomment it, which I've written here. Um, And that may be a good point to actually jump into text and showing that. So here I just took a few examples of um, um, badly written text. And here I'm not, uh, so the, the commenting out would be, I just, again, marked it with the control space, mark two lines, and then say control X, comment, uh, alt X, alt region, and then it's marked. And then prefixed with the U as stated, unmarks it. But I showed this region here for, or this file for a particular different reason. If I mark the entire region and then say control alt backslash, 
it re-indents everything, independent of the um, language chosen. I can do the same here, mark the region, say control A backspace, and it indents. Same with SQL, control Alt backspace, and it indents. If I wanted to undo that, control X, U, just undoes it um, multiple layers and tiered. Really, really powerful. With that, back to the slides. Um, other key advantages, things I really like, indentation is always sensitive to the programming language. It's context aware. That's what we just showed with the three different programming languages with the same command that I showed, Alt-Q. Um, sorry, Alt-Q flows and uh, indents paragraphs. That's good for text. What I'd shown was uh, control alt backspace for uh, indenting a region with this command. As I mentioned, there's a powerful undo feature. Um, one can work with rectangular regions of text. That could be a, a five-minute presentation in and by itself. And one can record and replay macros, um, operations repeated on the text, something I do every now and then, as well as named register, um, something I use quite often because I have longer um, persisting Emacs sessions and then copy and paste content I type to particular letters if I know I will need it several times. Um, that's just about all that I had um, in th for this short presentation because it's aimed for five minutes. So here are just a few links of things that I found um, helpful. The first one is a link collection at GitHub. Those are quite good. Uh, and a couple of other links that I had bookmarked and an older collection of Emacs resources and uh, opinionated guide to things Emacs. Um, um, two uh, articles, uh, blog posts, uh, with a collection of particular modes that that author, uh, author liked, and um, a list of uh, videos at Emacs Live if you want more and longer videos. Um, other than that, again, it's hard to do all these things justice. If you look at something like this, this is an old um, second-hand paperback I quite liked and I picked up, I think, in the 90s first, Unix for the Impatient, great title. It's an 800-page book and it covers about 80 pages of the 800 pages on the shell, something very um, common in things Unix. But for comparison, Emacs takes 90 pages in there. So it's about 90 pages out of 800. So use that as a ballpark for figuring out um, how many things you may have to uh, or, or can possibly learn with Emacs over a really long horizon. And that's all I had. Uh, here's two uh, sources uh, for the uh, graphics used. And uh, that concludes the first presentation. Hope you enjoyed it.